Well, Dallas police are looking for a hit and run driver who seriously injured a motor motorcycle rider in Pleasant Grove Tuesday. The victim is still in the hospital. Fox 4's Lynn Ann Wynn is at Baylor Medical Center with the hit and run investigation. Lynn Ann. Heather, that crash left 32 year old Thomas Seymour with a back broken in multiple places, broken ribs, a concussion, among other injuries. His doctors believe that he will make a full recovery eventually, but tonight his family is wondering who did this and why. Why? Why couldn't you stop? How could you do this? I mean, I don't hate you, but I want to know why you did it. Rosalie Harrison is looking for the person who hit her 32 year old son, Thomas Seymour, Tuesday night, landing the father of two with another one on the way in this hospital bed. It's someone's child. He's a father. How would you feel if it was you? Harrison says her son had just gone out to get some gas and was just a block away from home when a white Chevy pickup rear ended him, sending him flying off the bike onto Military Parkway near Pruitt Avenue in Pleasant Grove. She says a neighbor heard the crash and came out to call for help, then notified his family who came out to the crash scene just as they were loading Seymour into an ambulance. Horrifying. It's one of the worst feelings you can have. I No mother should ever have to do this. The crash left Seymour with his back broken in two places, four broken ribs, a concussion, and strained shoulder. Seymour's family says it could have been worse, but he was wearing a helmet and a protective jacket. He's fortunate enough to have a helmet on. I think that's what saved his life, but... You know, he'll never be the same person. Seymour's family says his doctors remain positive, but it will be a long road to recovery. Meantime, they have this message for anyone who has information on what happened. Be the bigger person, do the right thing just to put this family, you know, at peace. It's not going to stop what happened to him. It's not going to make him heal any faster, but I don't know how you could go living your life with this guilt either. And Seymour's family tells me that they believe that some of the debris in the street at the crash site may have come from the suspect's truck. They also say that that truck may have some red paint on it from running into that red motorcycle. So far, Dallas police have not made any arrests. Heather, back to you. All right, Lynn Ann, thank you.